trap here, so we need to do the work. Yeah, give you a good look at it. You can come ahead, go ahead and come up here. Good morning. I am very pleased to have the opportunity to participate in this uh, UHS RTLS shuttle launch and uh, main thing I wanted to do was to congratulate everyone involved. It is inspiring to see young people interested in engineering and science, and this is a visible demonstration of that. The 140th scale model is a mirror image of the real thing. Get them interested in education, uh, keep them there for the whole time period, make them want to stay, and also show how the math, the science, and the Englishes are important uh, in a project like this. Tuesday, the shuttle, named Explorer, with its external tank and solid rocket boosters, was ready for its maiden flight. Robert Crippen, former shuttle astronaut and now head of the Kennedy Space Center, pushed the button. Three, two, one. We have a board on the pad. We're going to have a launch recycle. Like the real thing, it doesn't always work. But unlike the real thing, it only took a few minutes to fix and try again. Two, one, it really excites me in my heart because one of the things that those of us that work in the space program really believe it's a part of our job to inspire our younger generation to learn about science and math and engineering and this is a perfect example of how to do that. The first flight of Explorer took only 25 seconds but for the students volumes of new knowledge were crammed into the short flight. 